January 19th, Year 1, Proposal. Number 57. One day before school began, I got on one knee, even though he was laying down, and, in the basement of Jeremy's house next to the pool table, I asked Alex out. We are now official. Tongue emoji. January 21st, Year 9. Constraints unbound. Entry 58. <laughs> Alex and I broke up? Wow. Hmm. Well, I'm certainly glad that my first relationship will be memorable. Not really. Can't believe it was literally two days. <laughs> Bracket. My apologies. I met my first monogamous relationship with the male. I should have specified. They were relevant females before this point, although this series isn't about them. Comment left on February 3rd of year 19. End bracket. January 25th, entry 59. On speaking terms. Alex and I have been talking over the course of the past few days. It's been odd, but okay. My observation is that he's childish with his emotions. If you don't respond to his messages timely enough, he gets upset and uncertain. The reason why we broke up, aside from a misunderstanding, was because he thought I didn't really want the relationship. And that aside, I really was very uncertain. He thought he pushed me into it, which he may have slightly, but most importantly, I did it because I wanted to make him happy. And it was little things too, like me texting other people, mostly Ben, while holding him, and me staying over my friend's house, Ben's, instead of his. I know the pattern looks wrong, but we were dating for two days. My making and keeping commitments to people I view as friends shouldn't disturb him so much. At least that's how I view it. But I can understand his thinking. Last night, I was at Max's uncle's party with Ben, and got a call from Jeremy telling me that Alex was drunk and wanted to talk to me. Alex was upset, throwing up, and persisted in repeating, You don't care about me. After assuring him that I did, and after a slightly jealous Ben refused, within his rights to do so, to take me there, I ended up borrowing, quote-unquote, my mom's car and driving there quickly, with Jeremy guiding me. P.S. I was supposed to map quest the address. At H Place in Seekonk? Recently, like less than an hour ago, we just got done texting. We reached the mutual agreement that we should just not talk for a month, maybe more, at least until he got over me. It was better than him just leaving and never talking to me again. So we agreed, and here we go. I will not speak or aim him, at least not initiate a conversation, until after the beginning of March. P.S. This was his MySpace message. Hey kid, just want to thank you for being there for me last night. I really appreciate it. I just have a couple things to say. Don't worry, you don't have to bother responding to this. Basically, if I could go back in time, I wouldn't have pushed you to be with me and have ruined things. I really fell for you. And I'm sorry I did, even when you told me not to. It really hurt to hear that you're talking to other people. I felt like you took my heart and stomped it. I don't understand why you would tell me that, especially in the state that I was in last night, but it's whatever. I'm sorry for all the scrap. Thanks for being such a good friend, quote unquote. You really should not talk for a lot of obvious reasons. I can't sit here and watch you talk and be with other people. Oh, and as for Kyle, he is just a friend and nothing more. So yeah, it was nice what we had and everything. If you ever need anything, you know how to get a hold of me, smiley face. Adios. Uh, um, well, he hit me up a little later on and resumed talking to me. He said, I really don't want this. So yeah, throwing my commitment out the window, I guess we're still on speaking terms. Hmm.